What is up guys, Sibo here and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be very similar to the other two videos I've made this week. We are keeping with the repping theme. You guys have been hammering me the past 24, 48 hours down in the comments section and also through my Instagram asking me questions related to the role. But the one thing I keep hearing all the time is Sibo, can you make a video of the things that you take with you when you go abroad for six or seven months? I don't really feel like this is a video that needs to be made. I feel like most people know what they should take with them when they go abroad or when they go on holiday, they go somewhere for a long period of time. Generally, it's just clothes, toiletries, and plugs for your phones and all these sorts of things. Of course, I am planning on taking all of those things with me, but I thought for the benefit of the video, I put a pile out here of things I am planning on taking that you may or may or not have thought of, just to give you guys some inspiration. Okay, so the first item on my list is my laptop. I use this for video editing, I use it for browsing YouTube, doing whatever, I am a laptop user and I use this every single day. I definitely would not go abroad without it. A power bank is also a really good idea for when you go abroad. If you are a big mobile user and you need to charge your phone on the go, it's definitely worth picking up a power bank. For entertainment purposes, I always take an external hard drive with me. This one has over 500 movies and 20 to 30 TV series for when you do want a night in or you want to invite friends around and watch a movie together. This one is a definite must when you go abroad and that is a Euro adapter. This basically just turns your UK plug socket into a US or a Euro plug socket for using in Spain and Turkey and other countries. These, if you're going to pick these up, definitely go for ones that have surge protection. The difference between one that doesn't have and one that does have surge protection is one could cause your devices to melt or overheat and one definitely will not. Surge protective ones you can pick up from Body Care in the UK for two to three pounds. Just don't pick the cheap ones up at the pound shop because chances are they will not have the surge protection built in. If there's certain products that you use on your skin or your face and moisturizers or whatever that you absolutely can't live without, then definitely if you have space, take them with you because lots of brands, I don't particularly like this, but lots of brands like this you may not find in Turkey or Spain as they may only operate in the UK. So if you can't live without it, take it with you. Condoms, if you're nasty. Your electric toothbrush and extra heads if you have them, if you can pick them up before you go, always a good idea. If you wear glasses, definitely take your glasses. These are my new ones. I can't see out them right now because I have contacts in, but I do wear glasses. If you only wear glasses and you don't wear contacts, if you have an old pair lying around that you don't use anymore, take them with you. The amount of times reps break their glasses abroad and then dear mom and dad have to send them out, it takes about three weeks and then you're blind for three weeks trying to do your work. Not a good idea. So definitely take spare ones if you have them. Keeping with that theme, if you do wear contact lenses like I do, take a good supply with you. I wear monthlies, but all the time when I'm abroad and a night out, I'll come back home, I'll try and put these back in the case. They fall down the sink, I don't realize in the morning. They've dried out, they're broken, can't use them again. So when I go away for six to seven months, I make sure I take a nine to 12 month supply just so I'm covered when I need them. Painkillers, but most importantly, if you have them in the house, antibiotics because they're a bitch to get overseas, you have to go to the doctor, etc., etc. If you have them, take them with you. And of course, paracetamol and things as well. A wash bag. If you want to take a wash bag, I keep all my toiletries in here, my contact lenses and all these sorts of things. This is always handy to have. A games console, if you have one, I've just picked up a Nintendo Switch the other day for entertainment purposes. I'm taking this with me. Headphones or earphones, whatever your preference is. This one here is for the lads. Man bag. Why do you want a man bag? I don't know, everyone's wearing one. I literally bought this because I didn't want to be the only dickhead not wearing a man bag. But you know what will come in handy when I take my camera out and about on evenings and stuff, so... MP3 player or an iPod is always a good idea, especially if you do get given a car out and resort. I used this last summer literally every single day. I just left it in the car and in between hotels I would rock to some tunes, have a little sing song in the car. It was a fantastic thing to take. And then of course don't forget to take all your cables and stuff with you, your plugs and your chargers for everything you're going to need. One thing that's a good idea to take with you that I don't have in my hands to show you is an extension cable. Extension cables are extremely handy when it comes to being overseas because if you take a lot of devices with you you're only going to have a certain amount of ports in the house to plug these things in if you have an extension cable you can plug an adapter into that and then it gives you extra sockets to plug your phone and stuff in sun cream if you do plan on spending a whole lot of time sunbathing while you're abroad and topping up your tan take shit loads of this stuff if you're planning on using it because it is one of the most expensive things you can buy in spain and also in turkey so if you have the space in your suitcase get it in the uk you'll save yourself a lot of money this one i think is actually pretty important and that is to bring cash 
cash is a great thing to take with you because most banks in the UK, when you use your card, you put it in a card machine, you generally get charged for that transaction with the euro rate and the exchange rate fluctuating and changing every day. Sometimes you might not be getting the best deal. Best thing you can do is take stone hard cash with you and that way you can exchange it and resort. You don't get all those fees when you're taking money out, etc, etc. Guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm not going to show you clothes. I don't see the point. Everyone knows you've got to bring clothes with you. With that being said, you are going to be spending most of the time you're out there in uniform so bear that in mind when packing clothes and try not to take too many warm items like zippers and hoodies and stuff because you probably won't wear them because of the temperature that's pretty much it guys thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you got something out of it don't forget to smash the like button stick your comments down below if you have any more questions and i shall see you in the next video bye bye guys Mwah.